Hello people, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, let's see another type of SVM, uh, advanced version of SVM called as linear SVM, also sometimes called as maximal margin classifier. Why? Because it choose uh, that hyperplane which has the highest margin or the largest margin than among all the other hyperplanes. So uh, to understand this concept of maximal margin hyperplane or classifier, uh, let's consider a binary classification problem. So, uh, if you know Python language, uh, in that you represent tuple with help of something like this. So, let's take two variables like we have xi and yi. So, xi uh, has values say it ranges from i ranges from 1, 2, 3 up till n where n is number of the training instances. So, you have binary classification problem for uh, n training instances or examples. And then you have yi which is the class level so yi belongs to a range say minus 1 to 1 so this is a binary classifier so either the instance will be a positive example or it will be uh, belonging to a negative or a positive class so uh, with this what we do is uh, we first write the uh, equation for a decision boundary so uh, equation for a decision boundary especially in case of linear SVM is given with the help of slope intercept form that is you have y is equal to mx plus c. So uh, by taking this as the midpoint what we do is uh, we substitute that is y we, uh, we write m as the weight that is w then you have x that is the input vector then we have b n is equal to 0. So if you try to represent this in a decision boundary so say this is our decision boundary and say we have some line going here so what this is that is the equation of this line or which bisects the two examples so you have all the positive instances here and you have all the negative instances here now uh, say for example uh, you have some area swept here so this I am drawing with the help of this dotted line say you have uh, these two portions say this is x1 and this is x2 now uh, the equation for this line that is the line uh, which is there below this solid line for that we write the equation as w x plus b is equal to minus 1 so since it's uh, lying below that line that's why we have written it as minus 1 and for this what we write is w x plus b is equal to positive one simple as that now uh, what we know is uh, the gap between these two that is the uh, area swept on the left and right of the main hyperplane is called as the margin so that we represent here as d now you have something like this uh, that is a weight vector so this is perpendicular to this decision boundary and so we write some equation here so uh, now uh, let's do some linear algebra so for this we have say for example you have uh, two points on this uh, just consider a and b so uh, if you try to write the equation in slope intercept form what it will be like uh, w x a plus b is equal to 0 and w x b plus b is equal to 0 now if you uh, try to subtract this and this that is you have w common you have xa minus xb is equal to 0. So mind you this is a dot product. So what this equation basically says is that your uh, now this part is called as a vector parallel to your decision boundary. And since you can see the dot product of weight as well as the vector is equal to 0 that means that your weight that is w is perpendicular to the decision boundary okay so uh, this is simple as that now uh, that uh, that was the uh, technical explanation of uh, this kind of diagram now let's move on to some generalized statements where we can just uh, put one instance and we try to predict the class level of that so uh, for that say for example uh, you have a variable 
say k now uh, we write the equation of this line above that is since here you have all negative instances you write it as wx plus b and let's say uh, this is uh, equal to 0 and you have wx and this is positive plus b is equal to 0 okay uh, now since we have this variable say uh, this is negative so it's greater than k uh, k greater than 0 and here you have k less than 0 okay means uh, if your k value is uh, greater than 0 that means you are on this line that is line above this hyperplane and if the value of k is less than 0 that means you are below this line that is this one okay uh, now what we do is uh, we try to uh, construct some equation so that it generally fits so what we can uh, say from this is that say for example you have some uh, training example say instance that is z so we try to fit to this value say you have two values for binary classification problem so since we have considered only this for binary classification problem we have positive one and negative one so this equation is true if your value of w z so z is a training instance so i have just replaced x with z plus b and if it is greater than 0 it means it is 1 and this is true if it's less than 0 so with this uh, what you can do is uh, for any training example you can try to predict the class label whether it belongs to positive class or negative class now uh, we shall do one more activity on this that is we'll calculate the margin of a linear SVM so for that what we need to do is uh, we should have to take two equations that is we have this uh, boundary that is b i1 so b i1 is the upper bound so it's given by w x1 plus b and let us take this as uh, in this format that is let this be our equation 1 so that is the upper bound that is this one x1 is i have just uh, considered a point on this so this one and you have i2 plus b is equal to minus 1 now again what we do is we subtract this from this so with that what you get is w common x1 minus x2 you have is equal to 1 minus of minus 1 that is 2 now this reduces to since we know x1 minus x2 is something a d that is a margin and this part is called as a vector norm so whenever uh, in ml or in statistics you encounter this symbol it's called as a vector norm of some magnitude uh, for further calculations now if you want to estimate value of d that becomes like this so this is the final value for the margin in case of a linear SPM or maximal margin classifier now here in this uh, you may be asking uh, from where this parameters that is w and b came so w and b are basically model parameters so uh, we have already discussed uh, these things in uh, hyperparameters so these are uh, basically intrinsic uh, to your classifier and it's not being externally configured to the uh, system or the model so well uh, that was all regarding the linear svm or the maximal margin classifier in machine learning so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you found about educate watching this video please do like share comment and if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing thank you very much for watching this video